Visiting Medina Medina is the city to which Prophet Muhammad emigrated, leaving his native city of Mecca after he had suffered at the hands of polytheists there. Upon reaching Medina, the Prophet set about constructing his mosque, which became a major centre of knowledge and served to call people to Islam and teach them its lofty principles. It is highly recommended to visit the Prophet's mosque in Medina during the Hajj season or any other time of the year. It is worth noting, however, that visiting the Prophet's mosque has nothing to do with the Hajj rituals and is not confined to any particular time. The Prophet said, There are only three mosques to which you should embark on a journey. The sacred mosque in Mecca, this mosque of mine in Medina, and Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. Sahih al-Bukhari, 1139, Sahih Muslim, 1397, Sunan Abu Dawud, 2033. He also said on a different occasion, One prayer in my mosque is better than one thousand prayers in any other mosque except in the sacred mosque in Mecca. Sahih al-Bukhari, 1133, Sahih Muslim, 1394. Places in Medina that are worth visiting. A Muslim who visits Medina must intend to visit the Prophet's mosque there and offer prayers in it. He may also visit other places including the following. 1. The heart of the Prophet's mosque houses a very special but small area known as Arauda Asharifa, literally the noble garden, which extends from the Prophet's tomb, where one of his rooms used to be, to his pulpit. Offering prayers in this area has great merits, as the Prophet said, Between my house and my pulpit lies a garden from the gardens of paradise. Sahih al-Bukhari, 1137. Sahih Muslim, 1390. 2. Sending greetings of peace to Allah's Messenger. One should stand in front of the grave of the Prophet, facing the grave with one's back to the Qibla, and say, with all graciousness and in a quiet voice, Assalamu alaikum, ya Rasulallah, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, ashhadu annaka kad balakta arsala, wa addayta al amana, wa nasart al umma, wa jahadta fillahi hakka jihadi, fajaza kalahu an ummatika aftala ma jaza nabiyan an ummati. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be upon you, O Messenger of Allah. I bear witness that you have conveyed the message, fulfilled the trust, sincerely advised the Muslim community, and striven hard for the sake of Allah as is his due. May Allah reward you on our behalf better than the reward that any prophet received on behalf of his community. The prophet said in this respect, No one sends greetings of peace upon me, but Allah returns my soul to me, so that I may return his greetings. Sunan Abu Dawud, 2041 one then takes one step to the right and sends greetings of peace to Abu Bakr as Siddiq, the Prophet's successor and the best of all his companions. Then one takes one further step to the right and sends greetings of peace to Umar ibn al Khattab, the second rightly guided caliph and the best of all the Prophet's companions after Abu Bakr as Siddiq. It is worth noting here that, despite the fact Allah's Messenger is the best of all mankind, he can do neither harm nor good, and thus one must not invoke him or seek his help. Instead, one must invoke Allah and direct all forms of worship to him alone. 3. Visiting Kuba Mosque Kuba Mosque is the first mosque built in Islam. Indeed, it was built even before the Prophet built his own mosque in Medina. Pilgrims visiting Medina are highly recommended to visit it, as was the practice of the Prophet who once said about it, whoever makes ablutions would do at home, and then goes to Kuba Mosque and prays in it, he will have a reward like that of performing Umrah. Sunan Ibn Majah, 1412. 